In this lesson, you will learn how to determine if an ordered pair is a solution to a linear inequality in two variables. First, substitute the x and y values from the ordered pair into the inequality. Then simplify. If the simplified inequality is true, the ordered pair is a solution. If it is false, the ordered pair is not a solution. Let's apply these steps to our examples and see how it works. Remember, in any ordered pair, the first number is the x value, and the second number is the y value. Substitute 1 for x and 4 for y into the inequality. Then simplify. 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 minus 3 is negative 1. This is true, because 4 is indeed greater than negative 1, right? So the ordered pair 1 comma 4 is a solution to the inequality y greater than 2 x minus 3. What about the ordered pair 6 comma negative 5? Is it a solution? Substitute 6 for x and negative 5 for y. Then simplify. 2 times 6 is 12. And 12 minus 3 is 9. This is false because negative 5 is not greater than 9, right? So the ordered pair 6 comma negative 5 is not a solution to the inequality y greater than 2x minus 3. Now let's try an example with a greater than or equal to inequality. For the ordered pair 0 comma 2, substitute 0 for x and 2 for y. Then simplify. 4 times 0 is 0 and 5 times 2 is 10, right? 0 plus 10 is 10. This is true because 10 is equal to 10 which satisfies the greater than or equal to condition. So the ordered pair 0 comma 2 is a solution to the inequality. For the ordered pair negative 3 comma 1, substitute negative 3 for x and 1 for y. Then simplify. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 and 5 times 1 is 5. Negative 12 plus 5 is negative 7, right? This is false because negative 7 is not greater than or equal to 10. So the ordered pair negative 3 comma 1 is not a solution to the inequality. Now, it's your turn. Pause the video and check whether each ordered pair is a solution to the inequality. For the ordered pair negative 8 comma 5, substitute negative 8 for x and 5 for y. Simplifying this, we find that 5 is less than 15, which is true, right? So the ordered pair negative 8 comma 5 is a solution to the inequality. For the ordered pair 9 comma negative 2, substitute 9 for x and negative 2 for y. Simplifying this, we find that negative 2 is less than negative 2, which is false, right? So, the ordered pair 9 comma negative 2 is not a solution to the inequality. Try the last example with a less than or equal to inequality. For the ordered pair negative 10 comma negative 1, substitute negative 10 for x and negative 1 for y. Then simplify. This is true because negative 8 is less than negative 6, which satisfies the less than or equal to condition. So, the ordered pair negative 10 comma negative 1 is a solution to the inequality. For the ordered pair 0 comma 0, substitute 0 for both x and y. Then simplify. This is false because 0 is not less than or equal to negative 6, right? So the ordered pair 0 comma 0 is not a solution to the inequality. To learn how to graph linear inequalities, check the link in the description. Give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.